Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where we look at how we can sort a table of data with the column to sort by selected from a drop down list. In this example, I have this list of pizzas and different information related to their performance, such as their sales and their rating. And in cell C2, I have a drop down list. So whatever I choose from here for the columns, such as pizza, you can see it orders it by their name A to Z. Or if I was to choose something such as rating, it then orders the list descending by their rating. That is what we are going to create. And in this video, it's going to be completely driven by formulas. And we are using Excel 365. So I'm going to take advantage of the new formulas available. I will have a follow up video on how to achieve this same objective, but using formulas that are compatible across all versions of Excel. Now using Excel 365, this is going to be real simple. OK, so here we go. This is my starting report sheet. I have the drop down. I have the headers in play, but I need to return the values in the order specified from the drop down. Now I have this data sheet with the raw data and a table named TBL Pizza. And the first thing we want to do is in cell H3, I want to find out which column has been chosen from the drop down, which column do we need to sort this data by? For this, I'm going to use a simple match function, the brilliant match function. So equals match. And the lookup value is going to be the cell over on the report sheet. So if I navigate to the report sheet and select cell C2 where the drop down is, I'll put in the comma so that I'm prompted for the lookup array. And that is to look for that selected value along the table's headers. So I'm just going to write TBL pizza, open that square bracket and select the option for headers. You have to love tables in Excel. That was so easy. Another comma asks us what type of lookup we're performing. And I'll put zero for an exact match on those headers. Close the bracket and enter and we have that column number. So currently the selected value is sold, which is column two. And if I switch the report sheet and change it to maybe percent change and come back to data, it's now number four. So nice and easy, we have that number. We now want to use that in our sort function, available in Excel 365 and Excel online. So coming to the report sheet, cell C5, it's equal sort. Now the array to sort is TBL pizza. I want that entire table. In goes my comma, the sort index. Now this is the value that the match function is returning. So let's come over to the data sheet and select the cell with the column number in, which is cell H3. And then another comma brings us on to the question about the sort order. Now this one's going to be different because if they select column one, the name of the pizza, then I want to order it in ascending order, A to Z. However, if they select one of the numeric columns, uh, column two, through to five, then that is going to be descending. When it comes to the number sold or the percentage change, I want it descending. So I'm going to throw a simple little if function in here to ask if the value in cell H3 is equal to one. So did they choose column one at comma? If they did, then I'm going to enter number one. So number one indicates that we want it in ascending order, comma, what if it's false, what if it's not column one, 
Well, that's going to be minus one, which indicates to the sort function that it's going to be descending order. I can then close off that bracket. That's all we need. Close off that sort function and press enter. And as easy as that, job done. So using my drop down, choosing sold, it orders it by the sold column. Choosing percent change, it orders it by percent change. This can be really useful in your reports and your dashboards, rather than somebody manually having to sort data in the way that we do in Excel. This is much more interactive for the user. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully some useful formulas for you, but pretty quick and simple, yet still brilliant. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to be notified about the latest video tutorials at this channel. Take care and I'll see you again soon.